following the dislodgement of Boko Haram camps in some parts of Borno state by troops which had forced many of the terrorists to scavenge for food from villages, the terrorists have resorted to armed robbery thereby robbing innocent civilians and killing three passengers after collecting unspecified amount of cash and food items from their victims along Barma Banki Road. This is even as intelligence information available to the newly established headquarters of 7 Division, Nigerian Army, Maidagri indicated that the terrorists have written threat letters to Dikwa Market, traders demanding N1 million to enable them purchase food items and other logistical requirement or be ready to face deadly attacks. These were contained in a press statement emailed to journalists yesterday by the acting spokesman of the 7th Nigerian Army, Lt. Col. Sagir Musa in Maidagri, the state capital. Sagir in the statement said, at about 11.35 hours on 13 September, 2013, some troops of Banki Forward Operating Base, BFOB, on a mission of 202 Battalion Barma, on their way back to Banki, a border town with Cameroon Republic encountered some Boko Haram terrorists along Barma Banki Road carrying out armed robbery activities on innocent traders and travelers. The terrorists had killed three passengers and collected unspecified amount of cash and food items during the robbery. Consequently, Several terrorists also lost their lives during the chanced encounter with the troops. Similarly, intelligence available to the 7 Division indicated that in desperation to survive, the Boko Haram terrorists have written a letter to Dikwa Market, traders demanding N1 million to enable them purchase food items and other logistical requirements or be ready to face their oath. Sagir stated in the statement. Meanwhile, the sect's insurgency has been identified as the factor responsible for the recent rise in the cases of poliomyelitis in Porno State. The state, with 14 cases, the highest in the country, according to the Porno State Commissioner for Health. Dr. Salma Anaskolo was impeded in the fight against polio as a result of insecurity in many parts of the state which made it hard for health workers to immunize children in the state. Anaskolo disclosed yesterday at a sensitization program for traditional leaders in the state that Borno has 14 cases of polio out of the nation's 37 and the global 44 cases. She said that the sensitization program became imperative in order to meet the 2014 World Health Organization WHO, target of freeing the globe of polio. The commissioner, who explained that Maidagri was picked for the kickoff of the sensitization program because it recorded the highest cases of six in the state with the neighboring council having four cases, said it was not all a sad story as the incidences could have been higher but for the dedication of health workers that withstood the insecurity and went to some areas to get children immunized. The show of porno, al Hadi Abubakar Ibn Garbi al Amin al Kainmai, who hosted the sensitization program at his palace, called on his subjects to allow their children from 0-5 years to take immunization vaccine against the five killer diseases.